My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? The feeling of abandonment is something very natural and very human. And for me, I think the best example is how a mother feels. Now, in a Filipino household, you don't leave home. You stay home as long as you can, as long as your mother has that grasp on you. So when I decided to leave for New York for college, she cried. Um, when I moved back home from college and decided to work in Los Angeles, but decided to leave home and go to another apartment, she cried again. And then when I told her I wanted to become a catfish and fryer, she cried so much that she had to leave work early because she couldn't stop crying. And we laugh about it now because it's okay. But <laughs> at that time, um, there is like this connection that you have with your parents. It's not just that I look like her, but it's this weird thing of like, I think and I feel like her. Like, when I see plants, um, it, it brings me joy. And sometimes I feel sad when the plant is dead. And she feels the same way too. Or um, how she just loves to make everything look beautiful and how she pours herself into everything that she does. There's this really deep, deep connection going on in there. So that, that cut when someone who's just like her leaves is so profound. And then when we think about how Jesus died, we think about the cut that he felt at that time. It's not just the pain, you know? It's not just the torture. It's the relationships he had with everybody he was with. There was that cut. And how could you not feel this profound loss of abandonment? So for us, abandonment is something that is very natural to us. We'll feel it wherever we go. We can't escape it. And how do we cope? Now, I had a friend, her name was Hope. And um, Hope was, Marvelous. She, all she loved to do was watch episodes of Firefly, bake cakes and cookies, and then crochet. I didn't even know what crocheting is. Uh, but it's apparently this like thing where you sew patterns and stuff like that. Um, and sadly, she passed away three years ago. She died of cancer after fighting it for about 10 plus years. And a few months before she died, I got to meet with her. I was having a conversation with her. And we were just talking about things and about life. And she told me she doesn't understand why people feel angry, jealous, resentment, frustration, hatred. Because for her, she would always have chemotherapy. And after chemo, she would feel so weak that those feelings, those emotions, would take up too much energy. And she didn't have any more energy left to feel that way. And most importantly, she didn't want to die on that note. She may have felt abandoned. She may have felt rejected and lost. There was a cut in that. She had a good life. She had friends who loved her. Friends who did amazing things for her, like make a thousand people origamis. She could have been so angry and resentful, but no. We would just talk about ice cream and her favorite TV shows. And she just had this peace with her. She never lost her faith. So where does that leave us? We don't have cancer. We don't have cancer. We don't have chemotherapy. Why can't we hope? Our hope is, according to the Catechism, a trust in God. It trusts in Jesus Christ, and it relies on the Holy Spirit. And hope nowadays in this New Age world is like, if I think good things, good things will happen. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> it's about this like resignation, well, this sense, this resignation of like, God, no, things are really, really bad right now, and I don't know how I'm going to make the next second in my life but I trust in you. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I trust in you. So for that, 
We already know the end of the story, guys. We already know the end. There's a resurrection. Death is not the end. So as Christians, we have an advantage. We believe and we trust in God. So as we continue on our day, let us, you know, let us mourn. Because that's a beautiful, natural, human emotion. But remember, as Christians, as followers of Christ, let us trust in Jesus and let us hope.